Hi, Leah from Red Emerald Yoga. Today we're gonna to be doing two foot exercises. These exercises are designed to increase your foot strength and mobility. So to begin, start with two locks or something sturdy that can support your weight. And you're gonna be starting on the balls of your feet and you're just going to move forward. Let me just move the blocks that way you can see. So you come onto your knees and rock back. Just gonna be stretching back and forth. And when you're doing this, it's also going to be firing those little muscles in the feet. And if you feel like you can do that with control, then maybe you want to start going with no hands, which is a lot more challenging, but you wanna definitely be doing it with control and not just flopping around because it doesn't do any good if you're just throwing your body. Okay, and then the other one that we're going to do is we're gonna start, I don't know if you can see that, just kind of resting down like thinking your hips back, and then you're going to come up on the balls of your feet and bring it down. Up on the balls of your feet and sinking down. So start off using your blocks. And if you feel like you have that under control, then you can try doing it without blocks. <laughs> but if you have your blocks there, if you lose your balance like I did, you can just easily catch yourself. And that's it. So you wanna do those exercises a few times, start off with like three to five, and then you can increase up to eight times. And that way you can strengthen the foot because the foot has to do a lot of work. It's gotta carry us around to and fro and, and the foot often gets neglected. So show your feet some love and tell me what you think. Okay, so now I have a couple of modifications for you. If for whatever reason you are unable to perform those exercises while squatting down, like if you have any foot, ankle, toe, knee, or maybe even a hip injury that's bothering you for any reason at all, um, you can perform these exercises from a seated position in a chair. You can just come up on your toes and bring them back down. So this would be the easiest, the easiest option. And then if you wanted to lean forward on the, a little bit more on the front of your chair, you could alternate. And then for the next option, you could turn your chair around. Or you could stand using the wall. So whatever feels good to you, you can come up using the wall for balance or releasing the wall. And similarly, you can do the same thing using the chair. Thank you for watching.